everyone. I hope you're doing well today. We're going to be doing a simple Valentine's Day design as well as testing a TikTok hack that I saw. So I'm going to be starting with these mini coffin tips from Enel Couture. And all of the links will be down in the description box for you guys. I'm also going to be using this glitter polish called Galaxy from Love Jazzery, Madam Glam's Shagadelic, sorry, Shagadelic. And then I'm also going to be using this Milky White Poly Gel from Love Jazzery and their matte top coat. And then Perfect Pink from Madam Glam. So let's go ahead and get started into the actual tutorial. So I'm starting with that poly gel. And on the middle finger and ring finger, I'm going to apply a thin, even coat all the way across the nail. In my Dappen dish, I have 91% alcohol, and that's just isopropyl alcohol. I'm using that on my brush just to smooth that out and to make sure that I have it even. I'm also checking the underside to see that I have the poly gel all the way to the edges. It's important that you kind of fan it out and have it covering everything so it just doesn't pool in the center. So I'm going to do that for both of those nails. These items from Love Jazzery were sent to me as PR. I just wanted to let you guys know that. And again, all of the links will be in the description box. And I wanted to say thank you to Love Jazzery for sending those to me. Now, my friend is starting out with already prepped nails. I'm going to show that here in a second. And we've already primed, dehydrated the nail bed, and then did a single coat of base gel on there. And now I'm just fitting the actual tip with the uncured poly gel on there. I'm using my brush with a little bit of alcohol on it to clean up around the edges. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to flash cure using my little lamp. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other nail, making sure to line it up. And you'll see me kind of fiddle with it. Once I'm happy with the placement and it's flash cured, I am going to have her pop her hand into my large LED lamp and do a full 60 second cure. So as that's curing, I'm going to go ahead and get started in the TikTok hack that I saw. So basically as the hack goes, you're just going to take your gel polish of choice and you're going to paint the remaining nails with that. You're going to cure it completely in your LED and you're going to do a second coat if needed. And what this is supposed to do is supposed to eliminate the need for painting the nails on your actual hand, which makes it easier for those of us that can't paint very well or don't enjoy painting nails. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a test. I'm curing each of these layers in between in my LED lamp for 30 seconds, making sure that's cured completely. And then I'm going to be using a base gel to attach that to her nails. Now there was a few things with this that I wanted to point out. One, I had to use more base gel and I was able to get it to cure, but you'll see here on this first nail, I tried to do it how I normally would by putting the light on the top of the nail. And that didn't work. It wasn't able to penetrate through the gel polish. Now that could be that my lamp wasn't strong enough or that this was just simply too opaque. So you see me here adding more of that base gel and then I'm going to cure from the underside so that that light can penetrate in there. And doing it this way, it did work and that it did cure enough for me to have her put her hand into the light. And I was able to get a total cure once I put it into the large light. So just wanted to note that. Second thing is that these tips become much more firm. They aren't as flexible as they are, so it was hard to get it to line up on her nail. You want a little bit of flexibility in the nail itself so that when you push down, and I mean push down lightly, it makes contact with that base gel that you're carrying. Otherwise, you end up with bubbles and gaps, and that can lead to issues as the nails wear on, you know, for the time that you wear it. So it was a little fiddly to work with that. Now it was totally able to do it, but I just wanted to point that out for you guys. So at this point, you're gonna go ahead and cure the hands once you're able to do that flash cure. And then I am going to clean with isopropyl alcohol and file shape and buff. On my palette, I'm gonna go ahead and add a dollop of Galaxy Perfect Pink and Shagadelic. And I'm going to be using a dotting tool as well as a detail brush. I'm going to be taking the dotting tool and making two dots right next to each other. And then with a little bit of that polish on my fine detail brush, I'm just going to drag that down to a point to create a heart. I'm going to do a heart in each color on each of the nails. Once I have those in place, I'm going to use the other side of the dotting tool, which is slightly smaller. And I'm just going to be filling in some of that white space and creating random dots in all three of those colors. I also just wanted to point out that I was not completely happy with the way that the cuticle area looked on this particular set. Now, this is a temporary set. We have peel away base coat under, and that's why you see some of the separation that you see. 
You can, however, get separation like this just doing the lazy girl method and over filing. So if that happens, I would recommend taking off the nails and trying over because that can affect the wear of the actual set and having that separation will cause it to come up quicker if you were planning on wearing these long term. So I would suggest when doing the lazy girl method, do not over file because you can create separation at the cuticle area doing that. So just be very careful around there. In order to disguise the situation that I have here, we're going to go ahead and do some cuticle stones around there. And I did end up liking the final look, but I wanted to point that out so that you guys know I'm being completely transparent with you and that these were just temporary nails. So I wasn't too worried about it, having that little bit of separation at the cuticle area because we were literally removing them same day. So I'm going to go ahead and have her cure her nails completely in my LED lamp for 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and be using a gel that's designed for gems. I'm going to put that right at the cuticle, but I'm giving a little bit of a gap so that we don't get flooding at the cuticle area. And then right over that, I'm going to be putting on the matte top coat. And this just makes it easier so I don't have to work around the stones. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And then I'm going to put my stones in place. Once I'm happy with their configuration, so I'm doing the biggest in the middle, and then I'm graduating out smaller and then smaller. And then once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to go ahead and flash cure those in place. Now this isn't a total cure, it's just a flash cure. And then I'm going to repeat the exact same thing for the ring finger. Once I flash cured that ring finger, I'm also going to go in on the other three nails that I haven't top coated yet. I'm going to apply that matte top coat and then have her do a total cure for a full minute in my LED UV lamp. And that's just to make sure that everything is cured. I'm going to have her wash her hands, put cuticle oil on, and then I will meet you guys back for the reveal. All right, guys, so here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As far as the TikTok hack goes, yes, it did work. Would I do it again? Probably not. Um, I found it pretty fiddly. Unless you just really hate painting your nails, I don't see that this was really helpful in the long run. Um, I just find it kind of cumbersome, but it may be right for you. So go ahead and give it a try. Let me know what you guys think of it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, have a great day.